Hello, this is a tutorial of how to make a trophy like this, a gravel trophy, which is like live, like character. So first of all, you open up your make open palette, props, dynamic, hold tar projector. You are going to want to choose what outfit you want to wear for this. I'm personally wearing a ranger outfit to get something like this. So I'm going to try to recreate this as best I can. So, I'm going to do it like that. You can have it live. I like to have mine standing still, so I try to be as still as possible. Like a statue. But you can have yours live. You can like move your hands around and uh, like maybe even dance. This is step one. All right, now you gotta save it. We're gonna wanna move it in the air. This can be moved all the way over here. All right, first of all, props, no, not gadgets, gizmos, clamp. You're gonna wanna get clamp, just put it here for now. And you're gonna go math chips, variable chip. And you can notice now that as soon as I walk away, the halt tar goes away, but with this one, it's not gonna stop. It's just not stopping. So, I'm not that good with uh, gizmos, but you gotta go configure, configure this. The G signal, put it. You gotta put it to like really high. Hundred thousand, sure, why not? And then we wire the G to play, and we also gotta wire the clamp to this. So now it shouldn't stop even if I go far away. Alright, we're done with this part. Let's move on with the actual trophy. So what I've chosen is a cylinder gold. So it has like a nice nice touch to it. Like an actual trophy, like this one. And what you're gonna want to do, try to line it up in the middle. Manipulate. I probably should have done this when I was a bit bigger. Do it like that. Alright, now we have a decently sized trophy. As a base plate. But as you see in this one, it's not at the, you can see the whole time projector right here, and there's a wide gap of space. So what you're gonna wanna do is move it up here. And as you see, my character is like slightly to the uh, to the left. So I'm gonna move it slightly to the left. I kinda want it a bit more, a bit more thick. Now, I like to use like a second layer, so I'm gonna add clone, second layer, and make it bigger. Alright, it's looking good. So now, done. We wire the clamp to this. And you might be saying, hey, that, that's pretty good. But there's one more little touch that we didn't go over. You can see that you can still see the, like, the holotar. But with this one, you can't. So what you're going to want to do, make your friend configure, try to get the holotar, then go to hide projector. Line, boom, they're gone. So now you have a trophy. You can like select the trophy. It's kind of hard to select a whole tar, but you can. And then go to scale and scale it down. It's obviously this is oh, hold on one one last step I forgot. Make the clamp grabbable so you can grab the trophy. Let's see, like now now you. This is a bigger trophy than that one. Maybe you can add like another third layer. Yeah, but that's that's how you make a trophy. But one weird glitch that I found if you grab it and you put it why is okay. What the What Whoa! Whoa! I'm doing a Super Mario 64 BLJ. Holy Yeah, but it's just a nice trophy you can get. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the tutorial. See you guys.